Congestive heart failure, CHF, and pneumonia are both serious health conditions, but they affect the body in different ways. CF is a chronic condition where the heart struggles to pump blood effectively, leading to symptoms such as breathlessness, fatigue, persistent cough or wheezing, and swelling in the limbs. Pneumonia, on the other hand, is an infection of the lungs causing symptoms like fever, chills, chest pain, and a productive cough that may produce phlegm. Treatment for CAF often involves a combination of lifestyle changes, medications, and in severe cases, surgery, while pneumonia is typically treated with antibiotics, rest, and fluids. Risk factors for CHF include high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, and diabetes, whereas pneumonia risk is increased by factors like smoking, a weakened immune system, and recent respiratory infections. Here are detailed aspects of the disease to provide a clearer understanding of each condition. Affected systems, cardiovascular versus respiratory. In differentiating between congestive heart failure, CHF, and pneumonia, medical professionals consider the primary system affected. CHF, a chronic condition, is characterized by the heart's inability to pump blood efficiently, often leading to fluid buildup in the lungs, pulmonary edema, while pneumonia is an acute infection causing inflammation in the air sacs of the lungs filled with fluid or pus. Symptomatically, both can present with breathlessness and cough, but CHF is accompanied by symptoms like leg swelling and fatigue due to poor circulation, whereas pneumonia presents with high fever, chills, and a productive cough, often colored sputum, indicating infection. Diagnosis is usually confirmed through imaging, such as chest x-rays, revealing fluid distribution patterns consistent with each disease and supported by other assessments like blood tests and sputum cultures for pneumonia or echocardiograms for CHF. Treatment differs vastly, with CHF managed through lifestyle changes and medications improving heart function, while antibiotics are the cornerstone of pneumonia treatment to address the underlying infection. Primary symptoms, fluid retention versus productive cough. Congestive heart failure, CHF, and pneumonia can present overlapping symptoms, yet their primary clinical manifestations help delineate them. CHF is characterized mainly by fluid retention, leading to symptoms such as leg swelling, shortness of breath, and exertional fatigue. This occurs due to the heart's inability to pump blood effectively, causing fluid to back up into the lungs and peripheral tissues. Conversely, pneumonia primarily presents with a productive cough, often producing phlegm or pus, as it is an infection of the lungs. Fever, chills, and chest pain might accompany this cough, which stems from the body's attempt to clear the lungs of the infectious agents. Recognizing these quintessential symptoms aids healthcare professionals in forming a correct diagnosis and providing appropriate treatment. Typical onset, progressive versus acute. Differential diagnosis of congestive heart failure, CHEF, and pneumonia hinges on their typical onset patterns. CHF generally develops progressively, often over years. Patients experience increasing fatigue, dyspnea, and edema due to the heart's decreasing ability to pump blood efficiently. Conversely, pneumonia typically presents acutely. Within hours to days, patients may suffer from a sudden onset of symptoms such as fever, shaking chills, and productive cough with phlegm. Recognizing these onset patterns is crucial for clinicians to initiate appropriate management, be it diuretics and lifestyle changes for CHF or antibiotics and respiratory support for pneumonia. Common causes, heart dysfunction versus infection. Congestive heart failure, CHF, and pneumonia are two distinct medical conditions that can present similarly with symptoms like shortness of breath and fatigue, but arise from fundamentally different causes. CHF is a chronic condition where the heart's ability to pump blood effectively is compromised, often due to issues like coronary artery disease or high blood pressure, leading to a buildup of fluid in the lungs and other tissues. Pneumonia, on the other hand, is usually an acute infection in the lungs caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi that inflames the air sacs and fills them with fluid or pus. Differentiating between these diseases is critical as treatments diverge significantly. Managing CHF often requires long-term medication to support heart function, whereas antibiotics or antivirals are the mainstay treatments for bacterial and viral pneumonia, respectively. Recognizing the underlying cause is crucial for effective management, 
left unaddressed, both can lead to serious complications. Preferred diagnostic tool, echocardiogram versus chest x-ray. When discerning between congestive heart failure, CHF, and pneumonia, the choice of diagnostic tool is crucial due to their different pathologies. An echocardiogram is the preferred method for CHF, as it captures detailed images of the heart to assess its function and structure, checking for issues like impaired pumping action and fluid buildup. On the other hand, a chest x-ray is typically favored for diagnosing pneumonia. It allows visualization of lung opacities, consolidation, or fluid in the lungs indicating infection. Both tools are non-invasive but provide essential, distinct visual information aiding accurate diagnosis and subsequent treatment strategies.